In this video, I'm going to explore five popular YouTube do-it-yourself geodesic dome builds to see who's got the best DIY geodesic dome greenhouse videos. There's a lot of videos out there showing you how to build a geodesic dome greenhouse. Some are great and some are, well, I'm going to talk about my five favorite dome builders and a little bit about each of the domes they build in their videos. You're going to find links to each of the builder's channels in the description below. Let's get started. The most popular by page views geodesic dome build on YouTube I know of is from the channel Bigelow Brook Farm, web for dev Not really a do-it-yourself tutorial, but one of the best step-by-step -step building a dome video series you could ever hope to watch. High production values and a complete start to finish series of videos, Bigelow Brook Farm shows you how to make a medium-sized geodesic dome into a year-round commercial greenhouse operation. Not only the dome build from start to finish, but Bigelow Brook Farm also documents how to build a rocket mass heater fed by wood pellets to heat the dome even in the harshest weather. Made from wood and metal hubs, the dome seems to be strong and I have to say nothing was spared in its construction, so overall cost wasn't exactly cheap. There are expensive things like double wall polycarbonate sheets and spray foam insulation used in any of the non-translucent areas. It's hard to dispute that this is the Cadillac of do-it-yourself geodesic dome greenhouses on YouTube today. Not just the frame and strength of materials used, but the quality of the materials and total system implementation. Plus the final product looks fantastic. There's everything from the rocket mass heater that heats the floor to radiate the heat up to the dome to a fully functional aquaponics growing operation that waters the beds and grows fish too. I challenge you to find any completed do-it-yourself dome video series that comes close to the quality of this build. And the detail in its videography is unmatched. Bigelow Brook Farm is not just informative, but fun to watch. I see only two negative points to following this channel. The cost seems to have run out of control. I remember hearing the final dome completed was over $40,000. Quite pricey, but you can tell every penny is in there looking at the final product. My other pet peeve is the music. For such amazing videography, the corny music, and I mean corny, just seems so out of place, but to each their own. Overall, great job. I'm gonna add a plug here for Bigelow Brook Farm. They created a little device useful in indoor farming called a grow grip. See the link above or in description. If you grow indoors, this is something you really should check out. The next channel is Ghog63. Honestly, this guy should have a lot more members than he does. His videos are fantastic, informative, and funny. He built a couple of domes out of wood and joined the ends with nothing more than screws. It looked like a great idea in the beginning, but it seems he forgot to put wood stain on the end of the boards. And as time goes on, a few years later, he does a follow-up video where the board ends rotted out and he has to take down the entire dome. It breaks your heart, but it's a wake-up call on how your boards need to be joined together for long-term use. Another big proponent of aquaponics, he has a pile of videos documenting his adventures, trying different growing methods, but from the looks of it, aquaponics really seems to be his favorite. Ghog63 was one of my favorite channels until he stopped uploading about two years ago. You'll see him do everything from cut the wood to assemble the dome and add plastic sheeting across a few videos on this channel. He did it on a budget. Nothing in his builds are too pricey, and by not using hubs, he saved a lot of money, even though it ultimately ended in failure. Ghog63, please make more videos. Your YouTube channel was absolutely fantastic. Ziptie Domes is a business focused on selling a unique kind of hub connector for making geodesic domes out of PVC tubes. Okay, it'll work with other materials, but it's primarily designed to work with Schedule 40 PVC piping. The beauty of this concept is all you need for tools is a saw and a drill to make a dome. Pliers wouldn't hurt, but they're not really necessary. 
Zip Tie Domes promotes the idea that this is one of the fastest and most affordable methods of building a geodesic dome. And honestly, it probably is. There are some limitations though. The hubs are simple and pure genius. Who would have thought instead of nails or screws you could construct a building held together by nothing more than plastic zip ties? Zip Tie Domes makes geodesic domes for greenhouses, silos, shelters and chicken coops. In this market, I'd say this is probably one of the most affordable options. Focusing on greenhouses, although possible, this isn't really the dome you want for a four season greenhouse in an area that gets minus 30 degree weather. Now, anything is possible, but I'm just saying that if you're on a budget. But for a quick and easy backyard DIY project for someone with limited tools and carpentry skills, this really is the way to go. They even came up with a specialized hub that allows for double layer plastic to cover the dome and look somewhat clean and presentable. Zip Tie Domes has a lot of videos online building geodesic domes of all different sizes. They go up quickly and actually seem fun to build. Expect to pay between $140 and $1,500 for the hub kit, depending on a few things of course, plus the Schedule 40 PVC tubes and zip ties. So if you're looking for a greenhouse project have little to no carpentry skills and don't own any tools, zip tie domes is the way to go. Yes, there are better options, but all require expensive specialized tools and some carpentry skills not everyone has. Even with the other options that might cost less in materials, if you don't have the tools necessary to build it, the cost of those tools for a single build makes zip tie domes the cheapest usable option for a three season backyard greenhouse. No review of geodesic dome greenhouses would be complete without mentioning zip tie domes. Paul Robinson sells plans for several different geodesic dome designs and posts videos of building all of them. Honestly, this is the last stop and final say in blueprints for how to build any of a number of different geodesic domes. If you're planning on building a geodesic dome and you have a little bit of carpentry skills, you cannot avoid the absolute wealth of information Paul Robinson provides on this topic. What's beautiful about Paul Robertson is most of the information is given away for free too. It's only if you want step-by-step -step detailed instructions that you have to whip out the credit card. Most capable DIYers can build anything he talks about with the information he gives away for free in his videos. Paul has detailed videos on hub and strut dome building, flattened conduit dome building, beveled frame dome building, arrowhead dome building, stressed skin construction, angle iron dome building, and wanger flange dome building, just to name a few. Pretty much any kind of geodesic dome construction you can think of, there's a video on how to do it on Paul Robinson's YouTube channel. It doesn't end with just YouTube videos though. Paul Robinson also made a website that every geodesic dome builder should be using. Link above and below in the description. Paul has been building geodesic domes for almost 20 years, received awards for them, acted as a consultant on major government funded dome builds, and is probably the most knowledgeable person on the planet regarding geodesic dome construction today. That being said, Paul recently launched a new product called the Wanger Flange. It's a type of geodesic dome hub that can attach wooden poles together to make domes and a pile of other shapes. This is a revolutionary invention, making wooden geodesic domes suddenly easy and requiring less specialized tools to make. Link in the description below. That being said, I find the Wanger Flange great for making dome frames, but difficult to attach greenhouse plastic to. I'm eagerly awaiting for updates from Paul Robinson on how to effectively cover a dome with poly using Wanger Flange Hub technology. The Wanger Flange at this time is brand new and Paul is posting new videos with things to build using them every week or so. Until he posts how to cover a Wanger Flange greenhouse with plastic tightly, I'm personally still going to be a huge fan of the wood beveled frame dome greenhouse. They have tight plastic and are the most affordable, best looking DIY domes on YouTube today. If you're planning on building a geodesic dome greenhouse, you absolutely have to check out Paul Robinson's YouTube channel and website. 
the last geodesic dome greenhouse builder I'm going to review at the time this was created had only amassed 311 subscribers since 2009 and yet Rodney Volkmar's channel on YouTube features a ton of time-lapsed high-end geodesic dome build videos that are incredible Rodney Volkmar's channel is a hidden gem if you like watching high quality geodesic domes being built. Every video is a start to finish time lapse build and every build is masterfully done using pressure treated lumber, metal hubs and double wall to five wall polycarbonate sheeting. The domes are absolutely gorgeous when finished and many include grow beds or aquaponic setups inside for the finished product. The channel has an enormous amount of build videos on it you can watch and they're all designs from a company called Growing Spaces. These domes aren't cheap. Prices range on the Growing Spaces website from about $8,500 to over $40,000. But before you have a heart attack, the $40,000 dome is a 1,300 square foot four season building including heating and cooling systems. And when you think about it, the total material cost of the large dome is really only about $30 a square foot. Rodney Volkmer and Growing Spaces contact information is on the Growing Spaces website, link in the description below, and it looks like they are willing to travel great distances to build these incredible geodesic dome greenhouses for a small fee, or just sell you a material package so you can build it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed watching this review of 5 Dome Builders and learned a thing or two. If you like this video and videos like this, you can actually manipulate YouTube's algorithm by subscribing and hitting the bell. When you hit free buttons like subscribe, like, or the bell, you tell YouTube these are the kind of videos you want more of and YouTube will suggest more videos like this for you to watch. And don't forget to leave a comment in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.